leaders of the EU's three largest economies took a special overnight train from Poland to Kyiv. The visit comes ahead of a key meeting in Brussels on Friday on Ukraine's application for candidate status to join the European Union. Shortly after their arrival, air raid sirens went off, a reminder that this country remains in a conflict with Russia, though no explosions were reported. There are concerns that this visit could put pressure on Ukraine to resume peace negotiations while Russia remains in control of so much territory. But following the roundtable discussions between President Zelensky and the four European leaders, there was no mention of the need for peace negotiations right now. Instead, there were pledges to continue providing the weapons Ukraine needs, along with encouraging news for Ukraine's EU application. All four of us support the status of immediate candidate for accession to the European Union for Ukraine. This status will be accompanied, as we have said together, with a roadmap and will also involve taking into account the situation in the Western Balkans and the region, in particular Moldova. Reconstruction and avoiding a global food crisis were also on the agenda. We talked about coordination and economic support for our country in post-war reconstruction. We discussed ways to prevent food crisis provoked by the Russian Federation. We must do everything we can to prevent Russia's plan of famine and political chaos in the countries of Africa and Asia. There had been fears here that the longer the conflict lasted, European support might start to fade. Thursday's visit suggests the EU remains committed to back Ukraine politically and militarily. Michael Voss, CGTN, Kyiv.